Hi guys and welcome back to Southside Noob Headquarters. This is Randy coming with a very special edition of our broadcast here. This is Robot Unicorn Attack Heavy Metal Edition. This is a special request video going out to Michelle. She recommended that I do a tutorial on this because she just couldn't pass that, that first jump stage there. Uh, so what we're going to do in this one, Michelle, well, we don't want to focus on the butterflies. The butterflies are more or less a distraction. I'm sure that's causing you a lot of pain in your uh, early phases of the game. Now keep in mind that uh, the dash goes through pentagrams. This is very important uh, because as you see a lot of times they're just going to block away completely so the only way to get around them is to just dash through them, crushing them with your tremendous unicorn strength. So here we go. Now that we're speeding up a little bit, again you don't want to go too high. Uh, they, a lot of times they'll have a ceiling that's just too low and they're going to crash into it. And uh, vice versa, you don't want to stay too low to the ground usually either. It's good to stand on the ground for a little bit while it's going slow like this, but later you want to keep right in that sweet spot, right in the middle range. That way you're not going to hit any low wall. Oh, like that there. You're not going to hit any uh, low walls. Oh, and I just lost focus there. Got to keep, uh, gotta keep high too. And so again, uh, you'll notice that I did the, quite a few jumps without touching the floor there. That's because you can only jump twice, uh, like this here. I can't jump again. However, you can jump if you did your dash. So you can dash, jump, dash, jump. So that's really how you stay alive in the late phases of this game. Uh, and then knowing that you can also not dash twice unless you do a jump in between. So it kind of, they kind of have to go together. The yin and yang, if you will, of the unicorn universe. So again, moving right along. Uh, the pentagrams, they do not stack in this version of the game, which is a little upsetting to me. They, uh, well, they do. It goes 100, 200, 300, 400, uh, as long as you get them in a row. However, in the last version, I believe they multiplied, so it was like 100, 200, 400, uh, and then so forth. So it, it, the points got a lot faster. So in this version, you really want to... Ah, dang it. Go for the distance. You want to just go really far, as opposed to uh, going for uh, consecutive... Uh, star kills on this one, pentagrams. So I, I think that's about it. There's no real advanced tactics in this game. Uh, once it goes really, really fast, you just gotta do your best to keep in that sweet spot. Uh, and I did a terrible job of showing you guys the end game of this, which is just where it's moving so fast you can barely see the screen. And there is a point where some kind of memorization comes in, because the game is randomized. The screens just fly by, and you'll notice that it's a repeating, it's not a pattern, but it has like phases that are repeating. Uh, so it has like kind of like consistency as you can notice some pickups on some of those patterns You can really uh, take advantage of that and really help your, your gameplay quite a bit know when to jump uh, I, I don't know like that right there. I just felt very natural landing on that butterfly I knew it was gonna be there uh, even though I have never uh, you know, it's a random game, but not fully random I'm not sure if that makes any sense at all Anyway, I don't think I'm going to gain enough points to gain that Unicorn Immortality, so I will have to try again. But I will not uh, bore you guys with another uh, replay of this for quite some time, unless our viewers really demand uh, demand the replays. So thanks guys uh, for watching, I appreciate it. If you like what you see, please subscribe, and if you'd like to oh, have one of your other games you'd like to see on here, just let me know, and I'll uh, pretty much post about anything. Alright, thanks guys. Later.